It's like being back in an ancient ocean where most of the animals swimming around were like the nautilus back when they were the rule. And to finally see them swimming about, and I just had this sense that this is not some ancient, snow, stupid creature. This is a survivor. It's a survivor for a good reason. You don't last 500 million years if you're poorly adapted. The Nautilus was born of a winning strategy that combined a shell with buoyant locomotion. Once again, mollusks retooled. One line embarked on a risky scheme. It would gain speed by forfeiting more and more of its heavy protective shell. In squid living today, only a thin remnant of shell remains on the animal's inside. Now it provides support for a streamlined body that's become a kind of natural rocket. Some squid are capable of accelerated bursts, traveling as fast as 20 miles per hour. Compared to the mollusks that came before, squid are superb swimmers. They improved on the jet propulsion system of nautiloids, sucking water into their body, then expelling it forcefully. And over time, they evolved a mantle wall that was muscular and strong. Elastic fibers in the muscle intensify the recoil that expels the jet of water. Triggering this action at lightning speed is a nerve system wired with giant nerve fibers. And every squid is powered by three hearts which can pump blood and deliver oxygen as fast as in humans. The demands of the survival game pushed this line of mollusks a long way from their snail-paced origins. These squid must survive the extraordinary rigors of the deep, and like so many mollusks, they have adapted in singularly creative ways. The vampire squid, named for the web of skin that looks like the cape of Dracula. With strange eyes and paddle-like fins, it seems to have pushed the mollusk body plan to its limits. But another mollusk has gone even further, developing the most impressive weapon of all, intelligence. In this watery desert, the clever octopus exploits any safe haven it can find. The veined octopus likes to squeeze into split coconuts for shelter. Scientists have long marveled at the extraordinary ability of the octopus to compress itself. Octopuses are incredibly fluid animals. Since they're not restricted by bones or a shell, they can really take up any of the space that's around them in any way they choose. mollusks and having no shell, they're faced with challenges that most mollusks aren't faced with. So they have to protect themselves in other ways. 
One way is the miracle of camouflage. The octopus can change color and texture in an instant. For the mollusk without a shell, nature invented the ultimate skin. Yet another brilliant design for the arms race. They are able to make their skin very bumpy or pointy or in some areas and flat in other parts of the body. They can change the color. It's very instant. They can change from looking like a rock to looking like a clump of algae, which is absolutely incredible in my mind. Behind this gift for disguise is a large brain powering tens of thousands of color patterning cells in the skin called chromatophores, which contain tiny sacs of pigment able to expand at the twitch of a nerve impulse. Just below are cells that act like mirrors, allowing the octopus's skin to reflect iridescent colors. A color pattern appears when the chromatophores are expanded. When they contract, the white or reflecting cells are revealed. Chromatophores can serve other purposes. The poisonous blue ring octopus flashes its colors as a warning. Well, blue rings are one of the few octopuses that are deadly to humans. And this is warning coloration because they are so venomous. It's always very, very important to keep your distance or if you do approach them, to approach them with an understanding of how quick and aggressive they can be. The range of colors and body shapes and behaviors being made by these animals, it's just absolutely out of this world. And when you dive in this area, you just feel like under every rock is a surprise. Whether it's a small blue ring or a giant with tentacles six feet long, the octopus has become a commanding presence on the sea floor. Its early ancestors were at the mercy of shell breakers, such as crustaceans. But the arms race has taken the mollusks a very long way. Now the crab must reckon with the octopus. An adversary equipped with intelligence an awesome ability for disguise, and a devastating eight-armed attack. Oh. 